Hi team, so I totally forgot to record like an introduction to this video, so we'll come back to this at the end, but I started working on a new project and I started it on live stream. So here's basically how that went. Just about to be going live on Zara's stream. This is like my first experience back in the the public realm since I've had like my time off. I'm actually getting really nervous about it, which is really weird. I'm normally totally fine. I'm quite an extrovert, I'm quite a performer, but I'm actually a little bit nervous. I just sort of, I don't know, I think I've had sort of enough time away where it now feels still new and different to me. This is even before you've even seen any videos, right? I'm actually getting myself ahead and like pre-doing all of this. Cause obviously by the time you see this, Zara stream will have been a while ago. But, and I will try and remember and like link it up here, I think, who knows. But yeah, so about to go live, let's see how it goes. So I've mixed it up and gone with this sort of sexy little angle. You get an idea of the, the PC and the the keyboard. You might have seen me have a little tip tap. I don't know if I've put the time lapse before or after this, but there's a time lapse somewhere. You can see my notes. I might be doing a little scribble by hand. But where I'm at, right, brain power, this is what I'm... I didn't realise I could do that. What I'm doing here on the stream is... I'm working on that writing idea that I told you all about. So I'll give you a little bit more deets of while things are going on. So it's historical fiction. It is set in a desert. Now I'm quite a fan of, I don't really know how to phrase it well, but writing about nothing. And yeah, so I've decided to sort of set, set this idea in the desert where there isn't a lot going on. I like to sort of find the the small pieces of life that sort of slither in the sand. So that's what I'm working on, but I obviously don't live in a desert. So what I'm currently doing is I'm doing my research. I'm finding out about animals in the desert, plants that are in the desert, you know, um, ecospheres, biomes, that sort of thing. You know, what? how do things thrive? Because the desert isn't just a void. You know, it might look it to our naked eye, but that's because to us we expect to see a city like bustling with humans. But desert is a thriving ecosphere anyway. And that's sort of what I'm just looking into. So I'm going to do some research, I'm going to jot down some notes, and I'll get back to you. You're fully just going to get like little updates here and there. So I am about to hit the 1000 mark in this like new thing. I'm at 936 at the moment. We've just started, look at me using like new technology. We've just started on like the forest thing. So I've got like a 20 minute, 20 minute? Yeah, like a 20 minute sprint on the go. So I'm gonna see how much I can do, but I'm probably gonna like surpass the 1000 mark here. So it's 1000 words in this new project in a day. I'm happy with this so far. <laughs>
writing, tip tapping away, you know, on Zero's stream, and I suddenly hear like shouting going on outside. So naturally, and it is full context, right? 1.44 in the morning. I'm hearing this shouting outside. I'm thinking, what is going on? And suddenly I hear someone yell like, um, like come towards the property with your hands up. So I'm like, oh, I'm turning off my lights. I'm peeking out that window. I'm trying to get in, have a gander. There's only been like an attempted break in like over the road. And the police have like had to rock up. I've just watched, not watched literally, but I saw like someone walk away like this, like with their hands up and everything. What the? I, what is going on? I'm literally tipped having away here. I didn't hear nothing until the police had already arrived. Like terrifying. Okay, we have finished the stream. Well, I finished the stream. I've dipped a little early. There's like this these bugs. I'm really sorry. I've had to like dip a little early because I'm feeling myself getting really tired. It is 10 past two in the morning and I haven't been up this late for a very long time. I'm a pensioner now. I don't know if you know this, but I did manage to get to 1,552 words on this new story. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about it in like a second, but for now I'm going to go to bed. So I will see you tomorrow. Okay. It is a new day. I have slept. I am... I was going to say I'm refreshed. I'm really not. I've just done like a full day of work, but I'm working from home this week. So it's a new thing, but it's fine. We're going with it. Um, so I managed to get 1500 words done on the sprint with Zara yesterday. Funny note, I had not planned to do any writing last night at all. I planned on reading. I, I wanted to, to carry on reading Percy Jackson because I still haven't finished it yet. Okay, stop hating on me. But I managed to get 1500 words done and I quite like it. So let me tell you a little what I'm writing. So I'm going off of the like prompt of the thing I was talking about previously with this writing idea that an old teacher of mine had put through saying that they really enjoyed this story. Was I going to take it further? Sort of running with that as like a world almost at the moment. Um, so I'm not sort of continuing from that exact story, but something like in that genre, like from the realm of could be set at the same time sort of thing. So it's a historical fiction. Um, it's all set inside of a desert. So the idea is sort of the, you know, focusing on the small amounts of life in a place that's visibly scarce of life, even though sort of there has to be life everywhere anyway. Um... And I don't really have, like, a main narrative yet. Um, I've got a character, my, a protagonist, who has just been in some sort of battle or fight or something. Like, he's roughed up. I haven't fully decided whether that was, like, an animal or a human yet. But um, we've got someone who's been through a bit of a war, a bit of, like, a, a rough and tumble, and is, is stumbling their way through to find a civilization to get healed. And that's pretty much all I've got in this 1500 words. But I'm kind of liking where it's going. It's kind of sort of different for me. It's a bit atmospheric-y. It's still very much my style, though. And it's, it's a style I didn't think I, I would fall into, but I'm really enjoying it. So I'm excited to see where this goes. So while it might not seem like the obvious choice, considering I'm writing about a desert, I've decided to come to my local sort of nature reserve, which happens to be like a lake. So yeah, I'm just sort of getting sort of some of the natural vibes, taking in some nice scenery and sort of thinking about the circle of life. I'm having a really deep moment, but do you know what? The lighting's great, and I'm having a nice time. I've been stuck inside my little flat for the last few days, because I've been, like, building the sofa, not building a sofa, but do you know what I mean? Like, putting the sofa together, sorting out all of, like, the furniture, changing boxes from rooms and everything, and, uh, and then I've been working from home as well. So I feel like I've just been cooped up a little while. So I feel like it's nice to sort of get out, get some air, get some exercise. I haven't walked in ages. And it's doing me some good. It's a friendly reminder. If you haven't left your house in a while, off you pop.
Okay, so I've been doing like a little bit of writing here and there, and the project is now on 2,500 words, and I think I'm calling it there on that like chunk, like chapter, if you like. So I think I've got a first chapter of, of a thing, which is really exciting, but we'll see where this goes. I'm excited. We'll leave it there for now. Let's not overexcite ourselves. So thank you very much for watching this sort of introduction to my new project. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, please make sure you hit the thumbs up button because it will mean that if you liked it, someone else might as well. And yes, I nicked that from you, Sarah, sorry. And other than that, if you haven't already hit the big red subscribe button, please do and comment if you have any words at all that you'd like to say to me, including hi. Other than that, I will see you next time.